to another episode of Socially Uncensored, the show that you created for all of your questions from the inbox. Now, all your questions come live and come to life via tablet, computer, and cell phone screen. I'm your co-host, Kevin B.G. Crooks, and along the way, I got two co-hosts that's going along with this journey with me. First, my first co-host, the funny man, the petty one himself, Comedian Jason Jenkins. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing this shit? <laughs> and my other co-host, the brash and unapologetic Lene Stacy. Oh, oh, dark time for the real nigga. There we go. <laughs> as always, feel free. To, <laughs> as always, feel free to drop us a line. Any questions you got, send them to us at sociallyuncensored309 at gmail.com. Let's dive into the first question. I've been sleeping with my friend's fiance. <laughs> and now I'm pregnant. Hold on, for real? This I, real life? Yeah. <laughs> what should I do? Jason. Move out of town, bitch. You got to go. <laughs> you gonna die. <laughs> you are nowhere around this. You are going to die. That's crazy! <laughs> oh my, I can't believe she wrote this! Ah, okay, so obviously we can't put nobody on blast. You know, we keep everybody anonymous, but ma'am, what are you thinking? Is this her, I, we don't know, is this your friend, friend? It don't matter. You call this person your friend, and you sleeping with their fiance, all these men around, that's wherever like you from. That's territory, for real. Yeah, like that's some... And now you pregnant? So not only is you foolish for sleeping with this man, this nigga dumb, he didn't, he didn't strap up, nor did he pull out. Y'all both finna die. Ooh. I don't, what you should do, I can't say that, but what you should do if you're not going to, you know, make a doctor's appointment. Hold on, what you was about to say? Talk to the girl from the other episode. The uh, <laughs> no, I was to change information. And, uh, I was anyway. gonna say he need to. They, they, she need. No, I can't say that. I won't say it. Okay. Okay. I won't say it. Lene, tell us your thoughts. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, you know, kind of be a little devil's advocate. It's a two-way street. So yeah, she was a hoe, but dude was a hoe too because. He know that that was his girl's, his fiance's friend, right. and you still banging her out raw. Um, raw so, dog. Mm, mm, mm. Good strokes too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh wow. Oh, man, I never like thought that they had an orgasm on that camera. That nigga was like, man, Lord, that's show. crazy. Lord, have mercy. That's crazy. I've done some trifling stuff in my life, but that right there. What, coming on camera? <laughs> oh, what the, I on. hope he just didn't. Right. Have I ever busted nut on camera? Back to you. <laughs> Back to you. Back to you. Back to you. Back to you. That one do? time I was in Malcolm XXX. <laughs> <laughs> what should she do though? Um, are we talking what? Should she keep this baby? Abortion? Ooh. I mean, I Ooh. see that. I what? That's what I wasn't gonna say. Like you need to have an abortion. I don't want to say. Uh, well, like, I said they need to exchange information with the hoe from the last. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> the woman from the last. The ho okay, the hoe from the last one. She need to, they need to exchange information. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's that's a that's a tough call. I mean, she already fucked up. She. I mean, yeah, basically, okay. she needs to tell her Let friend. Tell like, she, she really needs to tell her friend? Yes. Because they, they, I mean, y'all, okay, y'all friends, y'all good friends, whatever. Bitch, you gonna get pudgy. She, they <laughs> you gonna, said you gonna get pudgy. And when she, she come and see the baby, she's gonna be like, hold on. Wait a minute, this look like Karan. Like like <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah. what she should do, should do yeah. is tell her. But don't tell her when it's just you and her because she gonna choke your ass out. Wait to tell yeah. her. <laughs> on the Maury show, like oh Maury, and then I, oh, I, I got a secret. Yeah. New York for this. I got a secret. 
This is like a Maury or Jerry yeah. Springer topic. For real. Yeah, y'all need yeah. to pay us for this. For well, email, it's a good thing ain't a show. The bitches ain't here jumping over the couch on each other and shit. Yeah, because know, we right? wouldn't try to break up shit. Uh, I guess we would call because we don't want your cameras getting us. I mean, so should she, I mean, that's what, I mean, you would think that. She should tell her. Well, actually, the fiance should tell her. Yeah, he should, he need to be a man. Since he wasn't man enough to keep his dick in his pants, he need to be a Ooh. man and, uh, tell, babe. Well, just push it up. Babe, there's something that's to tell her down you. gently. The yeah, babe yeah. Part. Or just push old girl down the stairs and then. Push old girl down the stairs? Mm -hmm. Wasn't that like in the movie? That's in a lot of movies. Oh, okay. you gotta push a lot of holes down the stairs. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I'm just playing, Colas. Put the camera over here. <laughs> I am just joking. Push yeah. her down the stairs and maybe she. <laughs> 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 you gotta push it. I mean, stick yeah, your foot out. Just, put a little rope. Or just leave a shoe on the stairs or something. <laughs> right. Oh so my she can god. We're, hey, I'm not advocating no violence. No, the real, my real advice that's is not violence, they need that's to. Birth control. They yeah, both. That's need to, birth control. Pushing her down the stairs. No, that's a okay. yeah, a birth being controlled. <laughs> 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 What they should do, your birth, keep your legs closed. Both of them need to sit down and talk to her and like tell her what's up because that's a real, real, real messed up situation. It would be messed up even if they was just boyfriend and girlfriend, but you guys are obviously engaged yeah. if that's your fiance. Well, I say they both sit down, well, all three sit down with uh, no knives or no four Exactly, so what you gonna say that? Yeah, they gotta have a meeting in the mall or something yeah, like that, bitch. We be in public. Yeah. But I mean, regardless, if, if I was right in a relationship the <laughs> inside in the lobby, mm. if I was in a relationship and my friend and my chick was like, hey, Lene, mm, there's something I need to tell you, whatever, I'm, I'm, I'm already, it's up here. Like, what the fuck do you two bitches got to tell me yeah. that y'all are congregating together? To cut you no, mm -mm. I'm a I'm a blackout. But see, it's like you don't never know. They could be stairs. telling you they planning a surprise party or something. Then why shit. the fuck would they tell me if it was a goddamn surprise? Because they need some help with what you like. They couldn't remember. But yeah, they, I don't like and, surprises, goddamn. And here's a talk about a friend. You sleeping with her fiance? That's no longer a friend. Really no friend. No. I'm, yeah, it's just like how did they even just cross like? Oh, that ain't happen. It, it happened. Oh, I didn't happen. bang some friends. Well, it ain't ever because, happened to me. Yeah, no, because if you if you are engaged to a girl and she got a homegirl, mm -hmm. you probably gonna see that homegirl a lot. True. Right. right. And some girls are stupid enough to leave their homegirls around their man. Mm -hmm. Or well, might because not. they trust her. But that's all about trust. But if y'all friends, y'all tell everything. Like he, yeah, oh, like, he fucked the yeah, shit out of me. Yeah, come on now. True. Or but, or it could be just like some eye contact and just like oh, they yeah. set something up like hey so like you some little slight flirting like and then that's it just how it led to what to you yeah now a situation that I was eye contact in, and you get that fuck me hard eyes oh because it was a situation I was in and I'm not gonna say the name that I was with this one person and they had somebody staying with them. And the person that was staying with them, oh, you giving us the tea? Was uh, look, look. was fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was nice. So one day I'm sitting there, and I see old girl like getting ready to walk down the stairs, and I just happened to look. Well, it had never been no flirting. She winked and like blew a kiss. Oh, Nigga shit. like me was like, shit. oh, so you <laughs> own that? Oh, okay. So long story short, I think either she got the long of it. She definitely did get the long end of it. Uh, that oh, night, oh, oh. I think it was that night, I was just like, hey, um, Man, you just house. admitted to, like, all of, like, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. We, what they gonna say? What they gonna do to me? Oh. I didn't say it was with it. With my wife or nothing. No, I'm just saying, no, I just thought that was something you just wanted to keep to your, you know. Why? Nigga, I was like, uh, 20. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Damn it, 20 years ago. I figured it was before the... Well, I knew, I knew it was... Oh, yeah. was like, he he I just think you didn't want to tell you at the bottom of the thing. <laughs> right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that night, like, I left, and then I called the house, like, hey, just come down to the corner. I'll pick you up, and then, like, we messed around. We messed around uh, for you a while. slick as hell with that. Damn right. We messed around for a while. Because the mm -hmm. chick I was talking to was crazy. Oh. But did she <laughs> find... Oh! 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh! Did she yeah. find out that you messed with her girl? Oh, nobody caught oh, that. Man. I caught it. I caught it too, but tune in. You just found out that he was banging your friend. <laughs> oh, she was homeless, but she wasn't dickless, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sure <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you know, this is what we got to say to you, ma'am. Miss Lady Uh. You owe it to her. Both you, of y'all do. You, you do. And you wrong, and he definitely wrong. Y'all ain't mm -hmm. shit. And this whole thing is <laughs> messy as hell. Very messy. Mm -hmm. Super messy. Yeah, I'm telling you, y'all better sit and have that meeting at the courthouse. For real. So well, somebody's getting injured. <laughs> now we're going to dive into the next question. Here's the next question from the inbox. I allow my friend to use my car all the time while I'm at work. But one day while he was driving it, he noticed the car wouldn't, didn't want to switch gears. The transmission went out. Should my friend be partially responsible for getting my car fixed? Lene. Is he partially responsible? <clears throat> I don't think so. It's a car. There's wear and tear, and it was apparently the transmission was going. The transmission was going to go out whether he was driving it or the owner of the car was driving it. I don't think that's his responsibility. But he drive it a lot, though. He said he drive it a lot, and he drives it all the time. But that's the responsibility. That's that's what you. That's what happens when you give somebody the keys to your shit you taking that risk of they're not going to take care of it as much as you do or as well as you do. Hmm. So I, well, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. He ain't taking care of it either because you ain't checking. Right. Like if you know somebody using your car all the time and I'm not putting, I'm not going to put all the blame on it because I, I believe if, if I'm at work every day and you come and get my car every day, that's like saying he's not responsible for putting gas in my car. Oh, he's responsible for that. Yeah. So he should be partially responsible for the maintenance too. Wow. You drive my car all the time, every day I'm at work, you got my car. Why are you not responsible for anything? You just a just gas and driving? And some people don't even want to put gas in. And you drive this motherfucker more than me because you driving while I'm at work. And the transmission, that's pretty lofty though. We ain't talking like mm. brakes yeah. or a battery. We talking about now, thousand I, dollars. Yeah, I know that that's going to be like an argument because... Hell, that's the, probably the, 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 the friendship. Friend, the friend... Probably don't feel no responsibility, but yes, right. bro, you've been driving this like you. If you wasn't driving my car as much, I could have had at least six more months on my car before that transmission go out. Right, but at the same time, for six more months, you know what I mean? He's giving him the keys to drive it every day. You yeah, know? I mean, what I will say is both of them should have been responsible enough to be checking the maintenance the of the car. The friend, considering he don't have a car and dude is being nice enough to let him drive the car, then yeah, hey... Like, hey, man, you know what? I think the transmission's slipping. Woo, woo, woo. I'm going to help you pay That's this. a good friend. You know friend. what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm, that's I'm, a good friend. Yeah, and, and that's rare. That's the responsible friend. Right. It, it, but it, that's what it should be is, I'm going to go ahead. I, I, you know, I cover half. On it. Yeah. But he say he drive it often. He drive it a lot. But dude, I'm sure dude probably drive his car too. You... If the transmission's slipping, you can tell you got that jerk and yeah. then the reverse. I mean, there's symptoms. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right? Like, uh, but do you, you you know cats that are really just go out their way and be responsible to be like, hey, I'm gonna come out my pocket. Honestly, personally, that you know, it's not a lot of good friends in the world. Like, you, you got a lot of people that you friends with, but like a good friend that's gonna actually be like, damn, I realized, like, you know, what I'm saying, I helped. Yeah. Do this, so I should help out. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, get an oil change every now and then. Do something, nigga. You always got my car. Like, right. do something. I mean, just like with my with my triple B. I mean, I treat it like it's a triple B. Oh, that's the big body Buick. But uh, oh, hey, <laughs> I, treat, hey, I hey. treat it like you know what I mean. It, 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 yeah, triple. Just, I ain't know what it, triple B. Okay, so that's like. Say, I don't give nobody my keys. It's that's that's my I don't either. my don't Lexus my or keys my either. Jag. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't give nobody the keys to my shit. Yeah, I don't like no, people. So say if you let somebody either. stay, it's like stay in your house. Look, I'm gonna let you. No, because you might fuck them. No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell niggas shit. <laughs> hey, you told the world. Ah, niggas are old shit over your head. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is not while you're there. Like, hey, you going through some. You need somewhere to say you can use my house, and then shit start getting towed up or. Not being well, man. Not being maintained. Is that person not responsible for keeping that house maintained if you living in it? 
If you mm -hmm. living in this house, ain't you responsible for keeping the other house maintained? Well, yeah. yeah. That's so if you drive in somebody's car man. a whole lot, or even if you stay with somebody, ain't you responsible for doing your part in that house? Well, yeah. I, I so why would you not be responsible doing your part? If you staying in somebody's car, why wouldn't you be responsible for helping keep that car maintained? That's different. It's not at all. <laughs> that was a dope <laughs> I think that was pretty dope. I just broke that down. You know what I'm saying? But I, 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 I think, you know what I'm saying, a good friend would realize that, hey, mm -hmm. man, let me help you out, dog. Because right. I know that I, I attribute it. I he's you. driving his car every day. Where the yeah. fuck is he going? Is he going to work? He got to have what money. What are you doing? Right. Yeah, is you jamming? Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I got a few females he pick up all the time. Oh, yeah. You know how cats be. Well, tell them hoes uh, put a little change in, pass around right. a little offering plate or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, because that building fund, that's the bummer, ain't going nowhere. Not so, a damn like, place. Yeah. so, Turn to dude, favor. what you got to do, yeah, if I was you, I would help pay for it too. Help pay for the transmission. Yeah, have put a little something on it. If it ain't half, at least a quarter, right? 25%? Something. Five dollars? No, I'm just. Oh, just okay. put something on it. Just, just put something on it. Just, I mean, because you you, you may not have. <laughs> I am, man. I can't help it. Like I'm not. Really? I know I, we kicked it at the Elks last night, but damn. You may not have half. You know what I'm saying of what it costs. So just try to help out. Like I'm still tripping at you, yawning. Come on, man. I'm an old man these days. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> right. I had to perform last night. I had a long night <laughs> perform on the stage. I, I, I did it. Yeah, like yeah, because before you say like oh perform, huh? Like you trying to get me divorced. I w You'll be the first one to say oh you perform. Let me clutch my pearls. Where the fuck is they? <laughs> God damn it! But I would not that. say anything like that. Okay. Or did you? No, well, sure. once we got that squared away, just help the guy. Pay for the transmission. That's the responsible thing to do. That's the right thing to do, buddy. There you well, go. Well, he's the one that's saying his friend is letting him use. I mean, he allows his friend to use the car. No, make your your friend should help you pay for it. Should point blank. And he simple. should put some in on. It. Point blank and simple. It's all the time we have for today. And as always, we gotta give special thanks to our producer, the creator of the show, Lakola Ashby. I'm ready, you know I'm ready to love you, love. Oh, they say you like the Tevin Kimmel. They say you like the Tevin Kimmel look alike. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you some new jokes, man. You said that six I episodes. did. Well, I <laughs> <laughs> but hey, hey, when we was I'm growing up, I'm laughing a little too goddamn hard over there. Hey, he, he, you did say it six episodes ago. Hey, but for real though, when we was growing up though, that's what everybody used to compare him to. Everybody say you like Tevin Campbell. Oh, you yeah. want to sing a different song? That's what it is. Hey, yeah. and he, he used to have ride. all the women too in high school too. No, uh -huh. not like that. Yes, he did. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. When we started. You well, you wasn't when we started what? When we started, started naming them. We remember. I was at high school trying to. I like that little dress alike thing. You ain't missing the glasses, so just take your glasses off. Y'all got the ball here. Give them yours. <laughs> Questions, send us all your questions to sociallyuncensored309 at gmail.com. Once again, that's sociallyuncensored309 at gmail.com. Give it to him one more time, G. Sociallyuncensored309 <laughs> at gmail.com. Did you just yawn again? No, my laugh. In the middle of a yawn. And for you freaks, it is dot com, not come. Oh Are y'all talking about y'all messages to get through? Yeah. Talking about y'all messages to get through? C-O-M, not C-U-M. Did he you say not come? Yeah. Bitch, why did they not respond to me? Until next time, y'all. Much love. Peace.